Morning. Police here now investigating the incident. They say the suspect could be charged with trespassing. It was bizarre enough when parents at that party began to notice the bounce house begin to deflate with children trapped inside. And then they looked at the security video and got quite a shock. You can see the kids playing in the bounce house when all of a sudden, with no warning, it starts losing air. Just 20 seconds later, it collapses. About 10 kids, some as young as two and three years old, trapped inside. The birthday party turning into sheer panic. Chaos. Absolute chaos. Glenn Hunt is the godfather of the birthday girl, one-year-old Diana. Some of the kids were crying. Uh, one of them actually was kind of traumatized by, by the incident. Um, another one, um, when he was being removed, uh, his leg got a little injured. What has people up in arms is this, a man seen walking into the backyard, unplugging the bounce house before nonchalantly walking back across the street. There was also a DJ and music at the party. We believe he thinks that he was pulling the plug to the DJ booth, but it didn't. It pulled the plug to the bounce house. Police know who the man in the red shirt is. They tried to question him, but they say he was uncooperative. His wife told NBC News he's hired a lawyer and is declining to comment. I got to say, this is very irresponsible for somebody to do that. Oh, bounce house! From Florida to South Carolina to Colorado, kids have been accidentally injured in bounce houses before when they blew away. This morning, this Florida community is puzzled as to why someone would pull the plug. And on social media, anger. It could have killed the kids, one person wrote. Another, people should get public shaming for this. I was appalled. I was absolutely appalled that, you know, somebody would have the nerve, don't take matters into your own hands and cause harm to uh, other individuals, especially children. Again, police here in Port St. Lucie say the suspect could be charged with trespassing. Investigators don't think he was actually trying to harm the kids. He may have just been frustrated that he couldn't get the DJ's attention. But investigators are now trying to speak with his attorney to get his side of the story. Guys, back to you. All right, Gabe Gutierrez, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.